I want to cover up Apache Camel uh, with the database. So we will see how we can able to connect the database using Apache Camel. So here uh, uh, what uh, my aim is to be, I have created two routers. One router, uh, I am inserting some data into database using timer. So specifically I want to show a different uh, example. So that's why I have taken timer. So uh, based on the period of 5 seconds, this first router will be getting called. And the second router, based on the selection of data uh, from database, I am updating one column. For example, uh, uh, for example, see in my Java village itself. So whenever any person going and uh, going and uh, uh, posting some question, so immediately I'm not processing that record because many people will be there where they can go and insert some uh, the, uh, some unnecessary things. So first, basically, I want to uh, do process how that question is effective. So then I will go and change flag to Y where I can go and display in Java village. So same thing kind of uh, example you can take it from here. So first can be uh, first router can, uh, using first router we can go and insert some data and the second router where it will go and change some flag to Y. N to Y something like that. So here so we know right actually so to connect the database we need a data source in uh, of course in our uh, spring and hibernate so for apache camel also we required a data source so for data source driver url username and passwords are required so like that using i have created data source so that data source we are giving to sql component of uh, SQL component which is available in Apache Camel. So this is the class where we have uh, SQL component for Apache Camel. So I am giving data source whatever I have uh, created before using uh, database uh, connection details. So our next uh, bean is topic bean. Of course, uh, uh, in detail, if you go and see new topic, what it will do. So to insert some data, uh, I have created one method, and to display some uh, some data for loggers, I have created one more method. Okay, in detail, we'll go to uh, that class later. So we'll come to our routers. First, uh, I am loading SQL properties, uh, SQL dot properties, where I have insert query, select query, and uh, update query. So, first, using first router, we are trying to insert the data, and using second and third, based on the selection of data, we are trying to update uh, some data into database. So, this is the second, third query for second router. See how a uh, transformer is getting called for first router. So uh, first router is getting called each period of 5 seconds and we are forming the data for insert query from topic bean uh, class. So in topic bean class which method is getting called generate new topic. So if you go and see new topic bean I have created generate new topic where I am forming columns like whatever data can be inserted for table i have formed here so i am giving a key value pair so how this key is getting retrieved if you see in sql dot properties see this these are the keys which we are forming uh, in uh, uh, topic bean class so after forming these keys so those keys will be retrieved uh, uh, for uh, this insert query and this will be getting called by SQL component. So this is the name where we are creating our uh, Apache Camel uh, SQL component. So our insertion done. So this insertion will be happening every 5 seconds keep in mind and other router. So we don't have any specific uh, timer for this. We are calling uh, uh, we are calling this router uh, it's not like a time specific period uh, on, to, on top of uh, selection query I mean whatever data is available in uh, database we are trying and uh, trying uh, 
trying to uh, call update query for that. On selection of data, we are trying to update queries. Okay, so then I am calling topic bean again. See very carefully. I am calling topic bean inside a two. So how I am calling? I am specifically I am mentioning bean colon. That means I am trying to call a bean. So what is my bean? Topic bean. So in topic bean, how I am calling method? Met uh, question mark method is uh, equal to process new topic so if we go and see what is inside process new topic so I am trying to have some data where I am uh, trying to show uh, what are the values available in database so this is the process new topic so that payload whatever returning uh, from process new topic I am trying to log using loggers so here from this example uh, comparing with the previous examples I have introduced multiple routers one router is based on the trimer and as well as I am trying to show some messages using loggers so generally we will do uh, we will write loggers for our uh, Java applications so that same concept uh, trying to achieve from Apache camel so that is also you have to keep in mind Okay, uh, we have a cover, uh, new topic being the camel, SQL properties and we know uh, for execution we are using app program as of now. So I am trying to execute uh, this process for some uh, uh, time so I have used thread.sleep. So ex uh, other than that, so we are trying to log some messages right. So for that we have uh, used log 4 j properties and other than that pom.xml is very very mandatory for us right ok uh, camel core is mandatory and uh, we are trying to achieve we are trying to write camel configuration file using spring right so we have uh, used camel string also and uh, we have a jdbc connectivity so i have given camel jdbc also and uh, we are trying to use sql prefix for uh, camel configuration so camel sql also required so we know uh, for database connectivity commons dbcp as well as i have used my sql so for that i have given my sql connector java for that entry so to support loggers we required these two also so this is our uh, apache camel with database ok we will try to execute this program yeah ok execution done oh we are able to see so much data because we have given loggers so that's why it will it will display so much data for us ok insert query happened after update why is like that and if you see update query called many times but if you see insert query called only once why because whatever time period I have given is like uh, uh, less than 10 seconds so in that case what will happen I am calling insert query based on the timer that means um, every period of 5 seconds so that's why insert called uh, only once except that update called many times because I am generally calling update query it's not I don't have any specific time period for update query so within that time period whatever we have given in app thread.sleep right within that time how much it can be processed it is getting called for update if you see right I have a many uh, many up, uh, update query happened because uh, I, I have done insert query now only but maybe I have uh, many records in database where it can go and update flag or any column with whatever I have given value in sql.properties ok we'll, lastly uh, before closing this session we will see update query see uh, I don't 
have any specific uh, condition so i am just uh, having a, tap, a topic id which it is uh, coming from select uh, select query so i am just uh, trying to update topic name so this example can be used to whatever i have given initially right something to uh, upgrade it to y or based on some condition for example uh, data is processed i want to make sure if data is processed i want to make y flag in database so those kind of things can be done by second router and first router i want to wait for 5 seconds and then execute some process so can be used for that i hope this will help you thank you